Hey, hey, how you doing? How are you? I hope you're well and I hope you are good. Today on the stream, oh my God, we're going green. Check it all out for you. If you would like to learn how to paint this and create this gorgeous little magical wood scene. So if you want to do that, just go there and get that gonna hop over to the discord oh yes we are and as always it's really what it means to you that's the most important thing out of all this it's whatever colors me mean to you what you associate them how you feel about them but generally green means all these things safety restoration renewal growth balance being reassured equilibrium nurture prosperity and then as you can see, when you get sort of more yellow in them and they get more acidic, then they get more energetic and playful. And if you tint them up with a bit of white, you get more kind of fresh starts, new perspective meanings in there. And then if you add a bit of blue, you start getting more meanings of trust and generosity and worldly wisdom and all that kind of stuff. Just all things that kind of represent that. So you can see the balance and all that. And you just got, there's some animals there, some plants there, woods, plant life. Just some nice pictures just to give a bit of inspiration. And then finally, I've got some, oh, some patterns. So you've got like the veins of the leaf, you've got the, the canopy is a really good one. When you actually look right up and you see where the trees don't particularly touch, that's a really nice like bit of inspiring, an inspiring image there. Obviously the auroras, you've got some cells there, there's another word, money. So if you would like to continue to keep looking at those, please go to the Discord. So I hope that inspires you, I hope that motivates you to want to make some art in green it really is good to like kind of put some limits on yourself sometimes in regards to art because it actually helps you expand it helps you to focus in on certain things that you can do and then it helps you to expand because you expand your repertoire so you like learn something and then you've always got that in your memory to go back to when you're making another piece of art and then you can apply it right apply what you've learned which is really cool. I really love this. This is just painted. I I'm, I'm love this type of green. Tell me what uh, your favorite type of green is in the chat. So that's the feathers. This is more natural sponge, but on the fine sort of side of it. And this was a dark green painted uh, bit of card. There's more feathers. This is just dark green wash that I was gonna print on top of. Uh, that sponging again and I just really like these so much because they've got so many different types of green in them oh and I did want to show you the other thing as well I wanted to show you my other inspiration for this so I've got two images to show you because just in case this inspires you I don't know if you could see but this pomegranate here inspired this so this little motif that I created is a mixture it's my own one I didn't copy it from anywhere but it's a mixture between this right this here and this which I think is so stunning so that was Chinese a Chinese motif, um, that pomegranate one, and this, which I absolutely love. How gorgeous is that? And then I've got this book, which I dug out. I haven't looked in this book for years and years and years. Living Sculpture by Paul Cooper. And it's all about um, using plant life in sculpture. So it talks about topiary, it talks about like sowing grass seeds onto sculptures to make them grow grass and moss and stuff like that. But it also has a little tiny bit about grafting. And this particular artist did, this guy's art name is Axel Erlandson. And he made that lattice creation. It's unbelievable. 
That would have taken so many years to make that. It's kind of weird and wonderful. So that's sort of like a bit of inspiration. That was on the back of my mind for like, for both of these really, for this one, this one and this one. So I'm thinking I like, I do want to use this, but I almost want to recreate it. I want to get this or these two and kind of do some sort of stems growing up. So basically like that, but bigger. That's what I'm feeling. this in the background prints I'm just wondering if I do two of them I might do two like one coming off this side and then another one slightly smaller or maybe I'll just make another element coming off of it and some leaves and stuff I, would, I quite like that see if the process is going the way I wanted it to. Ooh, it's all of a sudden gone really like graphic. I'm interested and intrigued by this. I'm happy. So that was my little exploration in green everybody. Definitely fertility vibes. The green goddess of spring and celebration is happening. Maybe I'll stick all my little pomegranates on first. That's probably a good plan, isn't it?
happy with this. It was all came from this little motif. And then I was like, I want to do it bigger. I want to turn it around. So I changed the scale. And like, it's all, this is all like printed with sponges. And all these papers are all hand painted. And then I've cut it out and stuck it on. And it feels like to me that it's like under the canopy. You know, when you sit under a tree. It feels like that to me. So these are the colors that I've prepped for today. So I'm gonna be printing a bit with these. I'm gonna be doing a bit with that. I'm gonna be doing a bit with some feathers and all that jazz. Let's get the paints going on. Now, like I said, I'm a very cool green type of girl, which means very much phthalo blue in, uh, focused. Love a little bit of phthalo blue. Come on. Also the lemon yellow. Permanent green light, lemon yellow, and phthalo blue. They're the ones I want to go for. Um, and I've got a white and I've got a black. So that's the one, the darkest green paint colour that I used with that lovely natural sponge, which is really nice. 
And then that's the feathers. Thank you so much for joining everyone. It was lovely to have you. I hope you really enjoyed the colour immersion stream. Please come and join the Discord if you don't already to be notified of the next one. Stay your amazing selves and I'll see you Sunday. All right, bye for now. Thanks for joining. Bye.